Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and even good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China, and right now I am in or at. What is the? Is it in or at? I, I, I am Maro. I'm in in Medellin. In 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 Villa Medellin, or and now I'm outside. The villa is there, okay. and we are out. Oh, yeah, the compound. You know. oh, oh, yeah, on the compound. Yeah, the compound. Uh, oh, on the compound. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Anoto in China, and right now I'm in Nyabohanse at I am Marwa Villa. The last episode was about the floating, the floating beam, the the beam. Oh, what is the, the beam flying beam. beam. The flying beam. beam. I don't know. I'm, I'm confusing with the floating restaurant. The <laughs> flying beam. Mm -hmm. The flying beam. Uh, fish pond. Uh, we are going to show you another fish pond and I have an amazing, amazing guest. You guys have seen him on Amarua, you have seen him on his channel and now he is on my channel Anoto in China. Ladies and gentlemen, this is its underscore. It's underscore Gintu. It's underscore Gintu. Yes, it's yes, a very yes. powerful name. Of course. Yeah. It's underscore Gintu. Mm -hmm. I'm a fish farmer, guys. Uh -huh. So that's where we are now heading to. Okay. Uh, to my project, my own project. Okay. You know, uh, these are where we are. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, the managing director, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, we can talk about the personnel who just behind uh -huh. uh, these are uh, management of I am Marwas mm -hmm. and fish ponds here. Okay. Uh, and I have my own uh, project. Mm -hmm. That's that's where now the idea came from. Mm -hmm. So as I can just transfer the idea to I am Marwa. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's where now we are going to the yeah. actual rearing of fish from the Athen fish ponds. Athen. Yeah. Athen. Athen. What the meaning of Athen? At. 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 Athen. Athen. At. Like the earth and up. Uh huh. Then. N. N. Then it's just constructed at the. So it's just dug. Oh, Athen. Yeah. They just dug down from just dug towards the down level of the earth. Okay. So just just gone Athen. Athen. Yeah. Okay. Athen fish ponds. So guys, we are going to know how he met Ayamarua, how Ayamarua got his idea from his farm and how he convinced Ayamarua to start this project. And he be, he even became the manager. And he, from the last episode, you have seen he used to manage and uh, now he is the full-time manager of the fish pond here. He gave us a very, very exclusive interview. You've never seen it anywhere, only at Anoto in China. And right now, we are going Athen. Athen fish pond, eh? Athen fish pond, he so actually you know, his you know, project. You know, you know, we have uh, different types of fish ponds. Mm -hmm. We have Athen fish ponds mm -hmm. that are just dug mm -hmm. uh, down, uh, down a level mm -hmm. of the earth. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, some raisin uh, 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 fish ponds mm -hmm. raised. Okay. So they're just raised and uh, they have some liners, mm -hmm. which is just the polythene mm -hmm. uh, sheet, mm -hmm. uh, or they're just called the temporary fish ponds. Mm -hmm. We have some cages, mm -hmm. we have aquarium, mm -hmm. and we have the constructed ponds. Okay. Yeah. And you are very well versed with this fish pond thing <laughs> yeah, and very passionate. You are going to know more about uh, wherever <laughs> okay. I came from to yeah. be who I am now. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Where are we right here? What's this? It's just a compound uh -huh. of uh, Ayamaro. An extension from that end yeah. to this end. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where the, we call the agriculture. Mm -hmm. It's just the kitchen uh, a kitchen farm is mm -hmm. this is where is a farmer, you yeah. know, farmer yeah Isa. farmer is yeah that's farmer where Isa guy just from the previous uh, is a fish uh, just called yes. that yeah the, 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 the kitchen uh, garden mm -hmm. just here mm -hmm. and uh, that's where he practices his uh, oh, uh, uh, farming yeah, yeah. Farming. so actually some most of the food will be coming from farmer Isa's yes. villa Medellin kitchen garden and now you have to complement the fish with some greens so you have some greens here or and some so produce we have we have to jump the wall eh? ah, it's okay yeah I, i've jumped into conclusions so many times so jumping Ooh. the wall hold this for come me come on come on come on yeah so when we were young we used to do this uh -huh. hey my your shirt your shirt is unbound it's unbuttoning like manga news we used to do this uh -huh. you spring like that uh -huh. first face and then second face thank you perfect in china we say pure young means beautiful. beautiful. Can you say Piao Liang? <laughs> the kids was, have waited for me until they have gone. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> they have gone. Is the other lady coming? How will she jump? <laughs> uh, just come and uh, analyze whatever you need to just jump with. Yeah. Okay, have you come here? 
You? You, you. Hey. Me? Yeah. I've never washed myself here. Uh, I've never scrubbed myself here. Do you wish to come? Uh, I don't think. You should come. <laughs> we need another. Maybe, maybe just bathing. Oh, you, but you have bed here? Yeah, I have. I wish I had time. I could come naked here and bed. Project. Oh yeah, only Mawira. Yeah. Shout out to you, only Mawira. Only Mawira. <laughs> River Nyabuhansi. Uh, River YouTube. River YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> River YouTube. And what is this? It's all? Yeah. Just a changing room. Changing room. Yeah. Look at this changing room. This where people do change their clothes so as they can now enter the driver. They change here. So the people came to the party. We used to change here. We used to change here and then go to the clay bag. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. So you see this camera is giving me better angles. Of course, yes. So you should find this one. DJI Action 4. So, now yes, we uh, now we are from uh, Ayamarwa uh -huh. Villa. Mm -hmm. Now this uh, uh, away that we follow okay. to access my pump. Yeah. Guys, we are inside the maize plantation. Oh man, this is, I've, I've never reached here. This is my first time. Exclusively. Exclusively. Courtesy of it's underscore Gandia. Gintu. Gintu. Yes. It's underscore Gintu. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. This is the journey, guys. Oh my goodness. Want to know more how he came to meet Marwa, how he started fish farming, and more it's about him. The fish farming now. The fish farming. Ah. What? 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 You know, mm -hmm. when you are seeing it on the camera, mm -hmm. it may look very small. Of course. But when we are here, it's the even much, much bigger. Of course, yes. What? You can now see there are three number. Yeah. And uh, this is the big one. Mm -hmm. And uh, followed by that one, uh -huh. the far end. Mm -hmm. Then this one here. Okay. So the history of me and Ayamarwa mm -hmm. is from this fish pond here. So let's move close yeah. just to see the origin, where it all started. Yeah. This fish pond here. Okay. It has some fish. Mm -hmm. So that's why I told you I. I cannot just come back here with some feet. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever they just see me approaching, mm -hmm. they do come out. Eh? Oh. But uh, if they don't come out, mm -hmm. you know, it's not time for feeding. Oh, you cannot see they're not coming. They're not area. coming. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. And it's somehow greenish. Eh? Yeah, it's yeah. green. Uh, they're under fertilization. Even this oh. one, that one, they're under fertilization process. Okay. I'll just give you the hint why we use fertilization and which type of fertilizer we do use. Okay. Uh, from this fish pond here, mm -hmm. I, to, I just uh, uh, started. Uh, construction year 2020 2020 yeah, yeah. but uh, it was now fully for the stocking okay. 2021 okay so you can now see where the perimeter wall is at I am oh yeah Maro is, is, is actually yeah. a Maro's neighbor so yeah. you can just come at this point you mm. can now view the, the, the villa yeah you want to so see the, the villa yeah yeah it's just here you yeah. can now see just there. yeah that's the villa yeah. oh let me give them a proper you can see Villa Medellin there. Yeah. Yeah. So we are just neighbors here. Yeah. So yeah. whenever we're just constructing this pond here. Yeah. And I stocked some fish here. Mm -hmm. They were just around uh, six months okay. approaching the harvest. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, everybody differs with their, his own market uh, yeah, yeah. of uh, uh, the market demand. Mm -hmm. So, mines are for the six months, six then months. I do harvest oh, because six of months. the market demand I have. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, now, that time, it was now approaching the harvest time. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I caught a thief stealing. Here? Yeah, I caught a thief stealing, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. By that time, there were maize plantations here. They yeah. were covering all over mm -hmm. from the upper section, mm -hmm. every angle. So this uh, pot here mm -hmm. is just the project, mm -hmm. it's just uh, uh, underneath mm -hmm. the maize plantation. Mm -hmm. So whenever I caught that thief, so I shouted for the thief. Mm -hmm. So the construction was just undergoing at that uh, villa, villa that time, mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. So it was like uh, uh, May, it was 2021 May. Mm -hmm. 
So when I shouted uh, a thief, a thief, a thief, people uh. came who were just masons uh -huh. from that uh, villa uh -huh. to see whatever is just taking place. Uh -huh. Even Marwa and Komo, they were just... They came, they were yeah, there. Yeah, they were there. Uh -huh. So they came and they saw the thief had just, uh, just uh, removed by the use of a hook, oh. a fishing rod. Eh? So As he just comes and harvests where he never planted. Yeah, planted. they do still. What? Because I am the only person who is just around here, just performing the fish farming. What? Yeah, I'm the only guy. So if you can just go a diameter of eight kilometers. Nobody. There's nobody here. The only, the only one. fish farmer in Nyabuhansi. Of course, yes. It's Actually, me. that will be by my title. Okay. The only fish, fish farmer um, in Nyabuhansi. That's me now. Okay. So, at, and then I'll put there your name. Yeah, it's at, underscore it's Gintu. Underscore yes. Gintu. Yeah. So, whenever now... Uh, I shouted, they came, uh -huh. and that's where Marwa talked about, oh, you are the one who just uh, uh, shouting for the thief. Uh -huh. Oh, he's just uh, a thief, he's just a guy from this area. Uh -huh. Even uh, this plot where now, I am Marwa uh, just purchased up to, uh -huh. that's where he purchased the land from those people who uh -huh. just sold me. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay, the people who sold uh, Marwa the land, yeah. they're, they're, they're the ones who are stealing from you. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. why? Uh, because you know, uh -huh. uh, these are now essential things uh -huh. that are not even, uh, uh -huh. you cannot, if you don't have money, you cannot purchase them. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's not like maize you can just pass that to other people's shamba and just plug one or uh -huh. do something. Uh -huh. uh, that one people cannot know, two uh -huh. or three, you know. Yeah, yeah. But this one here, it's high maintenance because uh, we stock 1,000. If it's 1,000, you do the uh, the sampling and everything that you have 1,000, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. You add even extra so as a they should have uh, that 1,000 number. Yeah. So I caught that he had just uh, uh, removed some uh, five fish from here. Yeah. So I am out talked, oh, you are the one who just having some fish pond. See, I never knew. Oh. But uh, diff uh, uh, earlier, uh -huh. earlier years, uh -huh. uh, I am out, I used to supply them with some milk. Oh, some years back, I was somehow a kid. Okay, so he ever knew me. Yeah, so you are supplying them with milk, or uh, Marwa was supplying no, you with milk? No, I, uh, uh, my mother uh -huh. was the supplier. Okay, to okay. Them. okay, So that one of just this is just a village, uh -huh. you know, you just milk, uh -huh. then you give uh, uh -huh. the kid who is just now uh -huh. who knows everything, uh -huh. you just uh, take uh, uh -huh. it, it's now transferring the, the crane. That, those are just called uh, crown uh, cranes, yeah, yeah, the crowns, eh? yeah, crown cranes of Uganda, yeah, uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. That time now Marwa talked about, oh, you are the one. Eh? Mm -hmm. I've been just uh, asking, whose uh, fish ponds are these? Oh, so Marwa normally walks around. It's, yeah, it's he was just Marwa coming here. He was around. just told uh, mm -hmm. somebody has some fish there, mm -hmm. some fish ponds. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they are now highly maintained and mm -hmm. uh, everything's just good. Mm -hmm. He was now looking for that person. He was just told Gintu, Gintu, Gintu. He never knew who is Gintu, you know. Mm -hmm. So whenever now we met that day, mm -hmm. now officially we met with the uh, mm -hmm. Marwa. He talked so, about, oh, you are the guy who is now uh -huh. having this fish pond. Okay. So it was now a sadfa, okay. a meeting point. Eh? So, yeah, so sadfa is irony. Yeah. So actually, maybe the thief was... Was the link now? Was the link between you and Marwa. And uh, Marwa. Because why is not for the thief? Maybe Marwa could not no, know you. Uh, of course. And uh, trust. Maybe he could just know me yeah. uh, maybe late. Or maybe we should change the topic. Maybe a thief made me know Marwa. <laughs> 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 or how a thief made me, how a thief introduced me to Marwa. Of course. Yes. Yeah, we will play around it. Oh, of course. So the thief shouts, D Did you manage to catch the thief? Uh, he just ran out. So, but of me of my eyesight uh -huh. because now you know it was a very big person uh -huh. during that time it was a uh, 2021 uh -huh. uh, two years uh, you can talk about two years uh -huh. yeah, from uh -huh. now uh -huh. so it was an energetic person ever possible you uh -huh. know you never seen that I, guy around I, no, it's just uh, from this area here. Yeah. You know, uh, it's just a bad person. You can talk about a bad person. <laughs> yeah, you know Yamaro him. doesn't know, uh, doesn't uh, want him uh, across his uh, oh, uh, area or the villa there. Uh -huh. He's just abolished from uh, uh, so many uh -huh. uh, home grounds. is uh -huh. not, not tolerated yeah. just to pass. Yeah. Because uh, those are the, just the crooks yeah, around yeah, the village. Yeah. So that's when now I Marwa knew who I am. Uh -huh. So he came and told me now, uh -huh. uh, I'll just uh, now I want to have the uh, once upon a time, uh -huh. I just have to just construct my own fish ponds. Okay. He wanted to construct like mine, uh -huh. the Athen one. They oh. are now the Athen. This now They're the now Athen. Yeah. Athen the Athen. Athen. Then you dig the Athen. Yeah. So Athen. Yeah, just the Athen fish ponds. Yeah. You know. Mm. So he told me, I one one day I'll construct even me one. Uh -huh. I now rare some fish for uh -huh. like the way you just rare. So whenever I just harvested them here, uh -huh. I was just selling to the mansions that I am Marwa 
Ayamaro himself uh -huh. purchased, you uh -huh. know. Uh, that time Ayugno were just there, uh -huh. they were just the top masons uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. So that's how now we knew uh -huh. uh, each other. And that's how also you met Akina Mayugno and the rest. Uh, Mayugno never knew who I was. Okay. Mayugno knew me uh, through during, this. Uh, just uh, we can talk about uh, uh, October, August. 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 Uh -huh. This year, August. Okay. Uh -huh. That's where now Mayugno knew who I am. Uh -huh. But he was just here, uh, was just told some uh, fish farmer is just around here. But okay. uh, we never met because uh, I was in school, you uh -huh. know. Yeah. So uh, the history of how I came up with this project oh, here, uh -huh. uh, I worked with Safaricom, uh, okay. Safaricom Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, I was just uh, digging some tunnels okay. from one booster to another. Oh yeah, of cables. yeah, I know 2017. that. 2017. 2017. You yes. come from far, my guy. Yeah, 2017. Uh -huh. I was in Form Three. Uh -huh. So now in Form Three, we had just closed some school. Uh -huh. Now, they, like uh, it was November holiday. Uh -huh. So I just now dug some tunnels. Uh -huh. Then I was paid a huge or some amount of money uh -huh. by Safari. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Thousand. What? Now in Form Three, seventeen years. Uh -huh. So uh, the first thing I uh, I talked about. We need somebody to take us a thumbnail. Maybe we'll call him. Uh, that's uh, I don't think he did just. Uh, oh, but but we continue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so so. Uh, the way now, uh, my father used to tell us, uh, I don't want uh, to see any of my kids uh -huh. uh, just uh, uh, constructing their houses or uh, just uh, having their families around each other. Uh -huh. So we have uh, to be so separate, uh, different okay. positions. Go, you know? go, uh, look go for your own. far away. So yeah, as whenever your... we have a meeting, uh -huh. you shall now come and we have that uh, peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we know each other. Uh, there's no envy to each other, you know, something yeah. like and that. And actually there's more to talk about yeah, because somebody might talk. have gone to Nairobi. Yes. You came here. Yeah. Another you have stories to tell. So when you meet at this festival season, New Year. Yeah. You learn to know how is the person in Nairobi. Oh, yeah. how, and how is the? I hear you have a fish pool. Oh, so you yeah, see, you catch how. up even more. Yeah, You're very visionary. So mm -hmm. uh, that time I had now to visualize myself. Mm -hmm. So I told my father I want to purchase a plot because I had some money. He told me how much do you have? I told him mm -hmm. I have one hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. So I have to purchase a plot. Can I get somewhere? Mm. So this area was a swampy area. Look at this area. Yeah. That's how it was now. What? Very swampy. Yeah, I can see. Very, so very swampy. So even when I, we were just coming here to see how now they're just going to mm -hmm. give me where the, uh, uh, the boundaries are. Yeah. We are just having gumboots, bro. Passing what? through going like inside. This area. Yeah. And somebody passing. will wonder why will somebody come by land here? Yeah. Yeah. So that it was like a swampy area. Yeah. So even me, I was just wondering. Uh, so I have a plot, yes. One hundred and ten thousand shillings. Uh -huh. I purchased this plot. From this eucalyptus, you can now see that size. Uh, size so size down there? Uh, yeah, from that size. Yeah, so so uh -huh. you can trust me. To that you can plus tree uh -huh. down there. Uh -huh. uh, we have a guava tree uh -huh. back to the river, okay. back to this uh, uh, plantain plantation. Okay. That's how the plot is. One hundred and ten. So, so only this part up to the avocado or yeah. oh, is that your part where sweet potato are? I have now purchased that one recently. Oh my congratulations. Yeah. So from there up? Uh, to where now the maize plantation are. Oh, that's impressive. So, so you are going up slow by yeah, slow. Slow by slow. Yeah. So when I purchased this one here, uh -huh. now I thought, what well, am I just going to just uh, uh, do here uh -huh. as a business now? Uh -huh. Am I just going to use uh, to just cultivate here some arrowroots uh -huh. or uh, rice or fish farming? Uh -huh. But uh, recently, uh -huh. people had some uh, fish ponds here. Uh -huh. Here it was a fish pond here. Oh, here. But, uh, it died. Okay. There's a fish pond here, uh -huh. but it died. Uh -huh. But now I now started mine uh -huh. from these. Uh, I, I saw from these people uh -huh. how they were now practicing some fish farming. Uh -huh. So I saw this place was so good, relevant for fish farming. Uh -huh. So that's when I, I get the hint from. Uh -huh. My father told me there were people uh -huh. who had some fish farming here. Uh -huh. They had some fish ponds here, uh -huh. two fish ponds here, but uh -huh. they died because of mismanagement. Uh -huh. So I constructed the first one, that one. The one over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. People came and just they dug it for the uh, ten thousand Kenya shillings during that time. How ma how deep is it? It's just uh, one point two zero meters. Okay. Yeah. And going Not all so. the way. It's just uh, we can talk about thirty two feet uh -huh. by fifteen feet. Uh -huh. And uh, whenever they they dug that one for like uh, six days, uh -huh. uh, they came up with that fish pond there. Uh -huh. So I stocked it uh -huh. when I was now in form four. Now form four. Yeah. And you are owning a fish pond. Yes. Now in form four. Now what? I stocked it, then I went back to school. Uh -huh. So I left my father to manage okay. the fish pond. Uh -huh. So whenever now I finished my form for doing my KCSC. Wait, wait. You, you know now I'm being surprised. Uh -huh. you, you bought this land when you were in high school? Yeah, form three. Oh my goodness. 17 years, bro. 
17 years yeah. you bought your first piece of land yeah and uh what? in form 4 18 mm -hmm. years i stuck to my fish now my first fish oh man yeah. those are the success stories <laughs> you know actually i've been doing a uh, documentary about the hidden treasures uh -huh. of nyabohanse yeah. and we are celebrating the youtubers of nyabohanse but now you you are the gem now because Without YouTube, you have started your own thing. I, I had started my own things. Oh, man. Because uh, even YouTube, I have just one month. One month? Yes, one month. You know, you'll go very, very far. I saw your channel. You have good, good, good views. Yeah. So that's why I was saying, if you get a camera like this, yeah. um, you will go places, document. You'll, yeah. you'll never stop until you get to the other points of the earth. Yeah. Go document about fish farming in China, yeah. in America, in Uganda, in Kitale. You'll go places and we want to see your journey. That's what so now it, it, I have to uh, just uh, uh, determine and focus towards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how now I came up to be mm -hmm. now the fish farmer. Mm -hmm. During that time, people are just wondering how this small boy has some piece of land yeah. and he has some fish here. Yeah. So I was just coming to just feed them whenever mm -hmm. we were just in breaks mm -hmm. in terms of now we have closed our school. Maybe we walk us, we go to the third one. Yeah, uh -huh. first time, second time. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, when I finished now my form four, uh -huh. now uh, they were now around uh, eleven months. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I came here and I found that they are very big, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. So that's why now I harvested them, and I, I had a very big challenge uh -huh. in terms of now marketing. I have some, yeah, uh, I have fish. a fish pond. Yeah, I have some fish uh -huh. ready for harvesting. Uh -huh. Now the market is a problem. Yeah. So where am I going to sell the fish now? Uh, I talked about uh, now, let me go mm. and uh, analyze the market, mm -hmm. which is just the nearby market, mm -hmm. and see if I can now get uh, people who can just purchase my fish. Yeah. But I never got the hotels, uh, they they were not just uh, that, uh, uh, they could not just amini. Mm. Uh, trust me that I have uh, the some fish, yeah, you know, the potential because uh, I was somewhere young, you yeah. know, 18 from my phone for now. Yeah. I uh, come to you, hey, bro, how are you? Mm -hmm. uh, I have some fish, can oh. you purchase them? So, so wonder, I, uh, what is this kid telling uh, you? Uh, you have some fish. Which kind of fish? Did you steal them? The fish? <laughs> <laughs> these are just yeah, fish, these are, yeah. Yo, yeah, sir. Mm. Uh, now I came the first day I harvested mm -hmm. with my brother. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I now packed them to the container, mm -hmm. just uh, the container, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I now transported them uh, from one uh, background, uh, which is just the one home mm -hmm. to another, mm -hmm. from one home to another. So selling the fish. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just going, I have some fish here. Can you just come and... So maybe one day we shall do that one as an experiment. Yeah, you know? sure, sure. Yeah, when yeah. I just remove them, yeah. I just take the yeah. bucket then. You I put it onto the head. And we I go start look with for the, nearby, the market. Um, I start with the nearby home. Yeah. I just go there, I settle it. Yes, I have some fish here. Can you just purchase, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have now grown big. Eh. Uh, are they yours? You know, <laughs> yeah, they questions, are you know? very yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, but uh, I have I have just sent somebody to just buy some uh, meat mm -hmm. from town. Mm -hmm. Ah, but you could just have come here very, very early. early in the morning. You know, it's somewhere. Hey, <laughs> embarrassing, eh? you know. So uh, you move from that home to mm -hmm. another. You yeah. go there, tell eh. Hey, uh, okay, the fish are, are they fresh? Mm -hmm. you know, they want to touch the downwards, you yeah, know? Yeah. They have some fins. Yeah. So my work is now to look for the downwards, yeah. if it's somehow big. He's not just uh, uh, satisfied that the upper one is somehow big. Mm -hmm. So he knows maybe I have just hidden the big ones down. down. So I have I have to place my hand downwards so as I can just bring the downwards up. Uh, and the fins yeah. are... Uh, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> so it has some work. Yeah, yeah. So then uh, I somehow sold, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at a cheaper price because it, you are the guy... They are already who, dead now. <laughs> they are dead, yes. You, don't, you can't go all of them home. Yeah. yeah, and you know, you are the one who just got to that home. Mm -hmm. They were not the guys who are not interested with the fish, they came. Mm -hmm. If they could just come for mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. you can now raise the coast you yeah, know yeah but you are the one who going has to them going to them yeah so they will have uh, to speak their own price they want yeah, yeah you know yeah that's now the challenge mm -hmm. i thought that ah, that one i never re uh, repeated again <laughs> the second day yeah i went to the people who are just uh, now frying some fish mm -hmm. town eh? mm -hmm. i talked to two three uh, uh mama mm -hmm. Then uh, they told me, yes, tomorrow we are now coming. Leave for me for 3,000. Mm -hmm. Another one told me, leave for 2,000. 
we are coming, you know. I told about hey, 5,000, you know. That one uh, bucket, mm -hmm. I sold at 3,600. And how you many know? buckets did you have that day? One. Or first. one, 3,600. Yeah, yeah, for Good the month. experiment. Yeah. Uh, if I told uh, uh, 3,600, mm -hmm. now this one, 3,000, this one, 5,000. Mm -hmm. After they have improved now. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I came here very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I harvested some fish. Mm -hmm. I arranged them three, 3,000. And I was to, when they came, they told me now they are dead. You can never turn them back. Yeah. You know? Now they told me, no, these are somehow small. You told that they are somehow big. So ah, I cannot give you this one 100. I'll give you 50. Ah. You know? They are now dead. You cannot just uh, uh, Take throw them, them back. back yeah? You know? So you have to sell mm -hmm. uh, with their own price now. Uh, the second day. Yeah. I had a challenge. Mm -hmm. hey, I talked about it. Eh, hey, this is this now the business? <laughs> this is not the business. I like the way you say, eh, <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> uh, you know, you, we usually, uh, you know, whenever, even uh, even now, even yeah. I can just come to you and tell you, just uh, I want you to buy this uh, kind of fish, yeah. somehow big. Eh? Yeah. Then you tell me, uh, I tell you, uh, I want to sell you uh, five hundred. Mm -hmm. You tell me I have one fifty. Mm -hmm. You just hear me saying, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can use that as a meme. Yeah. Can you say eh. it again? No, 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 no. One more time. Eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> that is to, that to get something like, oh my god, uh, in yeah, Africa. Oh my god. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Eh. You know, that one cannot be. Yeah. So yeah. the third day now, yeah. I constructed a, a smaller uh, house mm -hmm. at the town. Mm -hmm. I just uh, borrowed a, a place mm -hmm. whereby I could now construct a smaller. In town, you mean? Nyabuhanse? Nyabuhanse. Okay, okay. That's the only town we have here, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, the village people like us, yeah, we, we know the only town, town we can just go, somebody can just, uh, are you going to town? Yeah, yeah I'm going to town. So, so, if you tell me, are you going to town, I think maybe you're going to Kisi, you're going to Migori, you're going to Sirare. That's the biggest that's center the biggest we have. Oh. Yeah, so if that's the biggest center we have yeah. around here, yeah. Yeah. that's our town. What? Yeah, that's our town. So we move as you say. No, yeah. how did you get to that idea so of now starting? So now I wanted now to, to fry them alone. Yeah. Me alone now. You fry them on yeah. your own. So because I saw those people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, whenever they purchased it during the morning and they heated me uh, during uh, now the course, you know, yeah. they talked about that uh, they are now dead. <laughs> I cannot transfer them back, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, then I sold them the way they wanted. Mm -hmm. When I went there back during mm -hmm. the evening, now they are now frying the, some fish. Mm -hmm. I found that the uh, the ones that were just purchased around fifty shillings, mm -hmm. they are now selling at two hundred. Oh my goodness! I talked about now I'm a fool. Oh my! Goodness. I'll never be a fool again. That is triple profit. Triple. I'll never triple be a profit. fool again. Yeah. Because they know now they now took the advantage mm -hmm. of uh, the, they are now dead mm -hmm. so they had to just hit me so yeah. that they can now pick you know I cannot return them back mm -hmm. and uh, whenever I can now uh, but uh, uh, I just talked to myself that uh, let me remove some the second day mm -hmm. then uh, I just uh, give to people who are just ordering so as I can now uh, pass to their homes and uh, uh, deliver the uh, fish yeah. so i passed to other people's uh, homes where i passed the previous day yeah. so they talk about uh, hey are you uh, have you now you know uh, is it now a timetable mm -hmm. have you now given as, as a timetable now we are just going to eat some fish daily uh, so they don't appreciate you know yeah, yeah. Uh, whenever you pass today tomorrow tomorrow but one they mm -hmm. talk about uh, it's not like a, a timetable yeah, you know yeah. so i now uh, wanted now to fry them alone uh -huh. so that's why now uh, uh, do you know Nasto? Yeah, it's Nasto. Actually, the, it's the Nasto. Big up to you. He's the one who received me, okay. linked me to Maja's place. Yeah. And maybe I'll be featuring on his channel. Yeah. yeah. So, Maja mm -hmm. was the first YouTuber yeah. to take some videos from this area. Maja or it's Nasto? Nasto, Nasto. Oh, Nasto, yeah, Nasto. Nasto. Yeah. 2021, I remember. Mm -hmm. It was 23rd mm -hmm. uh, May mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. He came here, we just uh, removed some fish, mm -hmm. uh, we removed uh, some intestines, mm -hmm. we bisected, removed some intestines, mm -hmm. we scratched them the scales away, mm -hmm. we just uh, washed them, we packed, we went to town for mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, for deep frying, you yeah, know. Yeah. Maja was viewing that video. Uh -huh. I can just recall, even me, I'm just looking for that video. Uh -huh. Just a 2021 video. Uh -huh. I can just remember. Uh -huh. So that's why now, even Nasto, he never knew what YouTube was that during that time, uh -huh. you know, 2021. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was now the guy who was just viewing here. Yeah. Uh, uh, just M taking Maja some was, videos. Maja did not know about uh, the Maja video. Maja even uh, was somehow. Yeah. Uh, Maja was not uh, in that class during that time. Even uh -huh. Maja joined maybe YouTube very late. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but Nasto, mm -hmm. ah, Ma Nasto was there, 2021, mm -hmm. Nasto was there. Mm -hmm. So he was the guy who uh, just filmed here, mm -hmm. uh, get, got some videos from here, mm -hmm. to town, how mm -hmm. we just uh, dried them, mm -hmm. how we sold them mm -hmm. to customers. Mm -hmm. So I got that impression now of just now, uh, 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 just frying them alone. Yeah. So I had some profit mm -hmm. than selling them raw. So you have set your uh, store. Less vis uh, well. Yeah, you now fry. I now fry. How much did you make in the first day? The first day? Uh -huh. uh, uh, the bucket was now selling 3,600. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, I have now added it value uh -huh. by the frying. It will sell you know. at 201 now. Now it's selling 200. The first day I sold 11,000. That one bucket. Oh my goodness. That one bucket. Oh 11,000. 11, I remember 000. very well. And I talked about uh, into my head, I'll never sell to anybody raw fish unto my life. Yeah. But uh, whenever you come, whenever it's just raw, mm -hmm. now you'll go with my cost. Yeah. If you don't want it, I'll never sell to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's where now I set my goal. Mm -hmm. I'll now be deep frying them only at the center. Oh my because goodness. Because they have a value. Because I've added them value. Mm -hmm. People can just consume them with an immediate effect that, that was point, seven thousand profit 7, more seven thousand you know so those guys now the first day now they went and they sold those fish very well mm -hmm. the people are now uh, uh, sold to the mamas who mm -hmm. are uh, deep frying the mm -hmm. first time mm -hmm. so uh, during the evening they called me mm -hmm. uh, will Th I those get mamas to, the, yeah, the mothers now uh, tomorrow uh, uh, just uh, leave for me for six thousand you know now they come then uh -huh. then they do the same a thing they did to me yeah so as now they'd go with the bigger mm -hmm. uh, uh, bulky pieces of fish yeah. to their area yeah as a stock now yeah but i had uh, cancel that I because had, they did not that. receive you well yeah. and they yeah they manipulated your yeah. price so i had yeah. even me i was now defrying yeah whenever i started defrying at my center here mm -hmm. nobody else mm -hmm was now at the business of just uh, defrying mm. the mamas who are now defrying uh, at the center yeah uh now my cost was somehow low mm -hmm. the ones that they sell 200 mm -hmm. i sell 180 shillings mm -hmm. uh, a deduction of 20. so that so people come to people you. they came and they purchased and they talk about they are so sweet you yeah, know yeah yeah, yeah 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 because the feeds i usually use i don't use only uh concentrate feeds yeah i use even local feeds yeah you know by local, local what do you feeds. mean Local feeds. Mm -hmm. I do mean uh, I do use a uh, maize chaff. Oh, okay. I do use a uh, uh, chime. Do you know chime? What's chime? Have you gone to a slaughterhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, that blood. Just, not blood. Yeah. Even blood, I do use it. Uh, that thick but, uh, one. Uh, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, we can talk about uh, uh, when they bisect uh, the uh, obmasam mm -hmm. over the cow. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. The stomach. Yeah. They remove that waste. Oh, the waste in the that stomach. That waste. Yeah. yeah. It's rich, rich in chai. protein. Yeah, rich in protein. Yeah. yeah. It's grass yeah. Uh, chewed, yeah. but uh, not yet digested. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I do use them. That's why you can now see what is green. Oh, that's what makes this place green. Yeah. So let me, let me show you the green. Maybe the green content. Right? Now that's called the green stability. The green turbidity. The green turbidity. That's now uh -huh. the algae. What we are just going to view is just the algae. The algae. Yeah. So you see with this camera, you can illustrate. You can illustrate and focus. Yeah, that's what is pale green in color. Pale green in color. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the use of chime or mm -hmm. the cow dung. Cow dung. So you can come for inside cow dung. Yeah, even cow dung. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's the same as the chime. Okay. Yeah, it turns water into green. Mm -hmm. We have uh, five positive impacts of using chime. Five positive impacts of using chime. And four positive impacts of using powder. And four positive impacts of using powder. Yeah. What are these? We start with the chime. Chime. Yeah. First, mm -hmm. the first four mm -hmm. points of chime and cow dung mm -hmm. are the same. Mm -hmm. But chime has an extra point of okay. positive positiveness than the cow dung. Okay. So, but they're the same. Okay. Uh, the first point is uh, you can now see what is green in color. Yeah. 
So it creates that barrier mm-hmm. between the predator birds viewing aerial view the fish. Oh, I you can see. never see that. I see, I see why you use that chime. Now you have got it? Oh my goodness. The greener is now creating some barrier. <laughs> uh, uh, the protective barrier. Actually. From the predator birds yeah. uh, viewing the yeah. uh, fish. Actually, the you know water reflects li- light. Yeah. And uh, there is the pattern that water reflects light. Yeah. So when you put that chime, yeah. the barrier, so you, you know, uh, w- there's normally a, f- a type of eagle called the African fish eagle. Yeah. So the African fish eagle, whenever you are s- maybe lost in the wilderness, yes. because I do wildlife, yes. uh, zoology, I know this. Um, whenever you see the African fish eagle and you are lost in the wilderness, you know around this place there is there's some, some, some water. Some water around. Yeah. So, yeah. and they normally know. So, like here, there is Masai Mara around this place. Yes. And you know sometimes the rivers in Masai Mara, like Mara River, could get dry. Yeah. So when Mara River could get dry, they normally send a scout outside, the African fish eagle. Yeah. So the African fish eagle will come and see there's a guy with fish here. Yeah. Because they have good eyes. That's why they are called the African fish eagle. So they will see through the water. And then all of a, all of a sudden you'll start seeing a, a, a lots of a eagles. Crowd, eh? Yeah, a crowd of eagles. Yeah. And if w- just one crowd of eagles come, they eat all your fish. Of course, yes. Yeah. Now, with this idea of yours, yeah. of putting the chime, it makes this obscured. Oh, of course, yes. So the fish eagle will not see, or maybe it just think that's our water they, they know nothing. It, some water, yeah. but we do nothing here. Yeah, that's very impressive. Yeah, the yeah. second point, uh, yeah. when you use that chime, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the scent of that chime, mm-hmm. have you ever gone to a slaughterhouse? The, yeah. the scent yeah, it's comes from uh, the. Very powerful. Pathetic. Eh? It's, yeah, or pungent. Thank you. Yeah. So that scent mm-hmm. from that uh, chime mm-hmm. uh, doesn't go hand in hand with serpents, snakes. Oh. So this area you can never get any snake. Oh, snake don't like that. They don't go hand in hand. Even in water, you can just step here in water, but mm-hmm. you can never get any snake here. So if 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 I'm living in uh let me say snake prone area. Yeah. You can use a cow dung I can or use... chime. Okay. It's so a, I can dig a, a barrier around and make it uh, swampy and put some cow dung and you. chime. It's done. The snake will not. It will never come around. They will never come around. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. I'm learning a lot, yeah. honestly. And uh, the third point, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when you use the cow dung. And do we have snakes here in Yabuhansi? They are there. You can never. You, they are there. In the river? Yeah, in the river. They are, must be there. Maybe a python or. Uh, there's no python. Uh-huh. You have the green one. Oh, the green snakes. And uh, the water ones. The, oh, oh some, water snakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. water snakes. Because eh? snake f- swims. You yeah, know, water. actually, the snake is also a predator. Yes. You've seen uh, videos of, in, of snakes eating. Yeah, they fish. catch fish. Of yeah, course, yeah, yes. Yeah, they are predators. And so uh, that's what that's even. Uh, yeah. You can talk about uh, it's now uh, an agent of mm-hmm. now uh, keeping ki- keeping the, the predators, predators out. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of this fish pond. Yeah, you see a fish them. swims very quickly in yeah. water. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. even that's just a positive impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even we talk about the snakes, just the predators. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the third point I'm talking about, uh, you know, the cow dung mm-hmm. when stress becomes the manure. Yeah. Uh, then uh, even if it comes to manure, now when you throw here some chime yeah. and uh, cow dung, mm-hmm. they go and settle at the Base. They first neutralize water mm-hmm. uh, color uh-huh. into green. Mm-hmm. Then they settle down mm-hmm. the bulky one. Mm-hmm. Then they rot there. Mm-hmm. Then they now vitamins. They have nutrients relevant for the growth of algae. Oh, I you know? see, I see, I you see, see I see that. So, if they have nutrients relevant for the growth of algae, mm-hmm. so the uh, tilapia fish we do stock here, mm-hmm. they eat algae entire life cycle. Okay, okay. You know, mm-hmm. whenever you have uh, some feeds here or don't have some feeds, mm-hmm. they feed onto that uh, algae mm-hmm. that's now growing onto that water. Mm-hmm. So, this water turbidity that's green here, mm-hmm. this is the algae. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, they have that. Uh, uh, as a uh, therefore the, f- the third one eh? mm-hmm. the fourth point about that mm-hmm. you can just use this water it has a, if it can just uh, have nutrients for relevant for the growth of algae mm-hmm. so this water is relevant for the growth of crops yeah you can just use this water as an mm-hmm. irrigation okay okay irrigation irrigation purposes okay you can have a uh, small nurseries mm-hmm. small nursery bed mm-hmm. or uh, you can uh, see these ridges here mm-hmm. of these sweet, sweet potatoes yeah you can just pump water to these ridges whenever it's dry mm-hmm. and they now do well you okay. know yeah. it, they have nutrients mm-hmm. because uh, uh th- those nutrients from uh, the cow dung you mm-hmm. know yeah 
uh, or now we can talk about the manure. Uh -huh. uh, now the fifth point, uh -huh. it's now the only point over the chime. Chime. Chime alone. Uh -huh. uh, you know, fish when you stock them here, uh -huh. you can now see this grass protruding to the uh, uh, this fish pond. Yeah. Uh, big fish do eat the grass. Let me show them the grass. Yeah. This yeah. grass protruding. Yeah. yeah. This one's here. Yeah. Protruding to the. Uh, Fish pond? Yeah. Uh, fish do eat the grass. Okay. Uh, those are just, uh, uh, you can talk about uh, uh, the reason tree up, 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 upcoming grass. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, somehow not yeah. yet. Uh, uh, the hard. buds. Yeah. The soft parts. The soft the parts. Yeah. The they buds. do eat the soft parts. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Because so the grass normally bad. Whenever yeah. grass, yeah. whenever sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. you can just take sweet potatoes and beans throw in. And just cut, cut small, chop them in small pieces, mm -hmm. throw them here. Yeah. They eat. Yeah. Even skumawiki. Yeah. You chop it, you throw it, they eat. Yeah. So whenever they eat that one, so the animals, mm -hmm. which are just the cows, mm -hmm. grazed, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. grazed grass mm -hmm. and some herbs, mm -hmm. you know. Then, uh, they just uh, grinded and uh, cut and uh, they swallowed. Yeah. Before it is just digested, still in the stomach, uh -huh. it was slaughtered. You know. Yeah. Now it's now removed at uh, the uh, slaughterhouse. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So now when I come with that one, it's somehow grass grinded. Oh yeah. So whenever yeah. I throw it here, it becomes food. Easier for the fish to consume. They consume it. Yeah. So because it has been broken that five positive impact. Oh my god. That was is not in school. Yeah, that one is practical. I read fish farming, but I didn't read that. That is very, very new. That's now the new point. I'm this is now at the field. Yeah. Everything I'm talking about the is field. what I've experienced in, in the, the field. field. Yeah, in the I, field only. Actually, and the purpose of my channel is to inspire, to explore, to educate, yeah. and to entertain. Of course. And not in China. And not in China. And not in China. To inspire, yeah. to educate, yeah. to entertain. And to explore. Explore. Yes. So that's how so now. So today is educative. Yeah, this yeah. is now education. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So that's how now uh, I, I practice this fish farming here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how now I told you how Marwa we came to, uh, to be know. in touch with. Yeah, eh? yeah. So whenever now the uh, villa was somehow to be complete, mm -hmm. it was uh, he had now uh, done what's called the perimeter wall. We that uh, that yeah. small perimeter wall you have now seen. Eh? Yeah. Uh, it was constructed the perimeter wall around. Uh, uh, to restrain uh, mm -hmm. that uh, people are just going to pass uh, okay. from anywhere, mm -hmm. from any angle to access the villa. Yeah. So he just uh, uh, constructed a perimeter wall, the mm -hmm. small one, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the how now the fish pond is. Yeah. The the perimeter wall approaching uh, the villa. Mm -hmm. It was constructed first. Yeah. So from that construction, mm -hmm. uh, now called me and told me I want uh, my fish pond. Mm -hmm. To be in this area okay i have this perimeter or this is where it mm. has to reach yeah now the upper part how can i now do mm. the uh, fish pond to look so nice yeah at this area yeah uh, I, I was now uh, had some engineers there mm -hmm. where the engineer was now the i am, I am engineer. Maros engineer yeah he was now talking about uh, no we can now construct another wall mm -hmm. so as a uh, they now be a constructed pond yeah no i talked about no 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 how yeah. can you now construct a pond because that's where we have to rely water from yeah yeah it will so, block the water yeah, block the water yeah it will now block water because yeah. uh, you you do use the uh, waterproofs yeah, here so yeah. you block some water mm -hmm. here so that uh, will not be so favorable mm for uh, this uh, fish pond to work mm -hmm. so completely. So I uh, told Ayamarwa we have to construct what is called a flying beam fish pond. Uh -huh. which is a flying beam now yeah. at that far uh -huh. uh, perimeter wall yeah. or round. Yeah, yeah. So as now we have to attract this water from this perimeter wall uh -huh. uh, uh, from uh, the spring sources uh -huh. to access our ponds. That's why we used there uh -huh. some cement sacks. Yeah. The positive impact, uh, they have uh, some uh, Two positive impact uh -huh. of using those cement bags. Uh -huh. They are just there because uh, whenever we have uh, the fish want to spawn, uh -huh. it's just a uh, fertilization process, oh, yeah, you spawning, know, yeah. Yeah, spawning. Uh -huh. So the male first uh -huh. they go and look for a private part uh -huh. and they just create something by the name barrows. Barrows. Yeah. Uh -huh. Around the segments of uh, uh -huh. uh, the pond. Uh -huh. So the uh, work of that cement bags, uh -huh. you know, when they're just bulked together, yeah, yeah. they leave some spaces. Yeah, yeah. So those spaces are now going to have the breeding zones okay, of the okay, fish. Okay, you know? I see, I see. So that's the first point. Uh -huh. Second point, they're just there 
to filter water uh -huh. coming in. Okay. So it will not come with some soil from outside. Yeah, and the water will be very, very clear. Very clear. Yeah, the very third clean. point, uh -huh. they are just there to restrain uh -huh. the soil that's now bulked behind, uh -huh. not to fall no. onto the water uh -huh. of this fish pond. Uh -huh. And uh, those, uh, um, we can talk about those cement bags, uh -huh. uh, they don't uh, return water back. It's just Whenever forward. they are just compacted, mm -hmm. it's settled that way. But okay. whatever is coming, it mm -hmm. will now come. But water to move out, it will now move. Okay. So those are the three positive impacts of using those cement bags. Okay, okay. And uh, so that's how now I thought about that hint of constructing that fish pond. That's why now mm -hmm. we have that flying beam fish pond at Ayamaro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I see. So uh, he admires whatever I come out with uh, mm -hmm. to these fish ponds mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, around... Uh, it was in October, uh -huh. I was harvesting that uh, fish pond there. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I was just harvesting that fish pond, uh -huh. they came to purchase. So he came... Uh, Ayamarua came from the villa yeah, all the way to purchase fish They were just coming with the masons, Ayamayugno, uh -huh. Nasto, uh -huh. uh, my, um, uh, uh, Maja. Uh -huh. Even Maja, we did some videos before he could just harvest. He has some videos that we did with him. Oh, okay, he okay. talked about... Uh, uh, the multi-million project uh, uh, yeah. a 23 year guy yeah. uh, has yeah you can now see that video in youtube right? yeah yeah maja mm -hmm. uh, maja ke has that video mm -hmm. we did it here mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that guy is called uh, muita juni muita muita yeah muita yeah, yeah yeah so that video here mm -hmm. so this fish for now had six months old mm -hmm. fish mm -hmm. so i was just selling one 200 shillings what how, how how many did Marwa purchase? Marwa did purchase the only big ones. He was supporting me a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, cannot recall because uh, there were many. Because I, I saw he used to take some fish to his mom's place. Congrats, yeah, mom. Of course, yes. Were the fish from this? Yeah, from here. Okay. Yeah, very right. big ones. Uh -huh. He was just purchasing for 200, 200 each. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, they don't have uh, the. Uh, you can talk about uh, they cannot be at the same yeah. or equal mm -hmm. size both mm -hmm. uh, we have some female mm -hmm. and we have some male yeah. but I do go for the we call about uh, monosex of male monosex of male male only mm -hmm. but uh, in that monosex of male mm -hmm. they are used to come they cannot come a hundred percent sure male only okay they are uh, in a ratio of a three to one or five to two mm -hmm. so I do go for the ratio of three to one mm -hmm. mostly you know yeah so the, whenever i go for that i have some females there okay they're usually there yeah so those females mm -hmm. at uh, six months old mm -hmm. they are now around uh, 70 shillings okay 70 shillings the point is mm -hmm. the male are more expensive no the male have high growth rate okay than female mm -hmm. this comes whereby mm -hmm. the spawning now mm -hmm. talk about the spawning of yeah. fish yeah uh, whenever now they lay eggs mm -hmm. you know they're mouth breeders yeah the tilapia, yeah. they are mouth breeders. Well, what do when you mean by mouth breeders? They they remove some eggs uh, through the mouth. Their eggs okay. to be fertilized. Okay, okay, okay. They breed. They breed from uh, the mouth because of the warmth. Uh, I don't know the the the, the only uh, climate where mm -hmm. it can. No, let me talk about that uh, process now. We come about that. Okay. okay. So. Whenever now they uh, they breed some eggs through mm -hmm. their mouth, their mm -hmm. mouth breeders. Mm -hmm. So the male looks for a place relevant for them to just lay some eggs, mm -hmm. you know. So that it is called a, a barrow, mm -hmm. barrows. Mm -hmm. So when a female now it goes to uh, now a female goes and detect that place, mm -hmm. then it lays some eggs mm -hmm. through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Whenever it now lays some eggs there, mm -hmm. so that male that uh, did that uh, barrow there mm -hmm. comes and fertilize. Oh, okay, okay, you know? okay. Yeah, Whenever yeah. it comes and fertilize, mm -hmm. the female incubate the eggs now for hatching onto the mouth okay, again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whenever now it goes to the mouth again, mm -hmm. so that period of time, it's like 12 days mm -hmm. of hatching. Mm -hmm. Because the mouth of that uh, uh, female tilapia mm. has the temperature relevant for the yeah. hatching. It's a bit those. higher. Yeah. yeah. So now that time it goes deep mm -hmm. to the bottom of this fish pond. Mm -hmm. So it goes and stay there for 12 days without eating. Mm -hmm. So male bypass them because male are eating daily. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. the female those days of uh, breeding, mm -hmm. they don't eat. Mm -hmm. So that's why now the male bypass them yeah now the female that's why whenever you harvest mm -hmm. you can just get the female some more oh, i see this concept because also in, in the kitchen chicken yeah where the uh, female uh, chicken is uh, laying eggs uh -huh. whenever it, it wants it will, now to hatch eh? yeah at the it, hatching it, it, uh, it, time now yeah, it will stay there for a long time and it will lose a lot of weight of course yes uh, and but the male ones are yeah, still eating they weight. bypass them so, very quickly uh, so the same concept it's applies the same to concept. the fish yeah 
the same concept. Oh, so, so that's why the fish, uh, the female fish, are some cheaper are small and cheaper, uh, cheaper, but uh -huh. uh, some are small in size. Okay. But uh, whenever they stay here for long, mm -hmm. they have a big body, bro. Oh. Yeah. Now after that mating process, fertilization, yeah, yeah, yeah. then they come to they the come, reality. They eat then more. They eat. They yeah. eat. They eat. Then they now uh, spawn. Then uh, again, okay. Uh, they, uh, breeding mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Then spawning. Everything goes on. Hey, mothers are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why now we rely on the male. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, tilapia only. Okay, okay. But Ayamarwa, uh -huh. to the site of Ayamarwa, uh -huh. it needs only female uh -huh. and uh, the combination uh -huh. both genders uh -huh. uh, to be there because uh, uh, he needs uh, uh, the, uh, the breeding uh -huh. uh, tilapia fish okay. because he needs the multiplication at the yeah. pond. So you require many females and uh, a few males? No, yeah. just go for the mix. A mix. mixture. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. just a mixture. And uh, how, how can you differentiate between a male fish and a female fish because I've never even thought about it. Uh, that's the same uh, mm -hmm. concept when you go to the hatcheries. Mm -hmm. You know now the hatcheries are different. Mm -hmm. Now they take the eggs from the the, the, the female. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now they have that stage. They know the stage now mm -hmm. it reaches. The female now wants to lay some eggs. Mm -hmm. They take them out of mm -hmm. the pond. Mm -hmm. They go to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. They get the eggs out. Mm -hmm. They put them to their incubators. Mm -hmm. Whenever they put the eggs into their incubators, mm -hmm. whenever now it, they give uh, that incubator the relevant temperature for mm -hmm. the hatching over, the, the, the fingerlings, mm -hmm. now whenever they now hatch, mm -hmm. the first hatch mm -hmm. of those are now the, the fish mm -hmm. are now called the fry. The fry. Fry. Mm -hmm. From fry, mm -hmm. we, can, we can have now fingerling. Mm -hmm. fingerlings. From fingerling, mm -hmm. uh, we can just give you the time. Mm -hmm. It's just 12 days of hatching. Mm -hmm. Now it comes the fry. Okay. Fry one month, fingerling. Mm -hmm. uh, one month and a half, post fingerling. Mm -hmm. From post fingerling, now it's now a brood fish if it's a female, mm -hmm. or now the big fish mm -hmm. if it's just a male. Yeah. So that period of time, mm -hmm. uh, the, when now they hatched into fries, mm -hmm. They are now uh, under high maintenance uh -huh. at the uh, hatcheries. Uh -huh. So they are now given a hormone that changes female to male. Oh my goodness. I don't know, methyltestosterone. Methyltestosterone. Some, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Methyltestosterone. Ew. Yeah. That's the hormone they're just given yeah. to change them from female to male. Now, when I go for the male, uh -huh. they have changed it already. So, no, what you're telling me, a fish is born or is uh when it is inception it's you can it's, ne it's never male or female i don't have a hint from there okay because tell us I'm, guys I'm, but now yeah. what i know is uh, yeah when they're now hatched uh there is a a mixture uh -huh. of male and female okay there. yeah so to have a concentrate of male uh -huh. they have to use that uh, uh -huh. uh, hormone uh -huh. so as the now we can have pure male yeah and those pure male, uh -huh. now uh, they are ones that we purchase, we, uh -huh. the people who want uh, for the market demand. Uh -huh. For like Marwa, uh -huh. we'll know, uh, they will not go uh, under those uh, hormonal, uh -huh. uh, 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 we can talk, uh, treatment. Uh -huh. uh, we are, they're just going to be hatched, uh -huh. then uh -huh. uh, given out. And do this hormonal treatment have effects, effects f in Are the future, future for human consumption? No, whenever it's now grows up, mm -hmm. those hormones now has just uh, adapted to the fish. Mm -hmm. Now it's the, now the, the male fish. Now it doesn't have any effect. Okay. Whenever it now grows up, mm -hmm. it's now uh, yeah. uh, gone away. So that hormone becomes part of that fish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe I don't know. Maybe the female uh, fish could be having uh, at the reproductive area. It could be somehow uh, having some vaginal ring yeah. and then the male should be having something we call the phallus and then male could be bigger than the females i'm just using my knowledge of wild animals maybe. and to that yeah but mostly uh, the male are always a uh, uh, bright red bright red F fins ah now tail. now 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 let me tell you something when they become now big eh? yeah, yeah you see in yeah. the animal kingdom yeah uh the male animals are normally uh, very beautiful yeah so you could see like uh, for the case of birds the ones with the very many colors are very beautiful yeah the ones with very dull and boring and very ugly mm -hmm. in animal kingdom are the women yeah so the importance of this 
the male should have the bright colors so that whenever the mating yeah now you see they attract the so females so that's where now yeah. when yeah. they have uh, to reach that point of spawning yeah. they turn the color oh. this head now becomes somehow uh, 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 we talk about reddish in color the male one the males so that's the, spawning the time, eh? yeah uh, it, it becomes somehow reddish in color mm -hmm. the spawning time mm -hmm. and whenever they now finish the uh, spawning mm -hmm. which is now uh, the spawning uh, period mm -hmm. uh, they now go for resting mm -hmm. That resting, they go settle mm -hmm. and they uh, they goes back to that uh, normal oh, color. Oh, it likes they that. goes back to that normal color. Oh, okay, okay, but okay. Uh, they they when uh, it's time for now we talk about uh, they want to reproduce mm -hmm. uh, or at uh, spawning time mm -hmm. they turn into that color mm -hmm. for reflection to be seen. So we attract the, yeah, females, attract the females so that the they same. will mate. Yeah. So to enhance to enhance their success reproductive success yes, yeah. basically to increase. There are chances of females to come and meet. Of course, yes. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the concept. Oh, very amazing concept. Yeah. So that time you could know this is male. Yeah, this. This so the uh, the dull one is the female one. Yeah. The bright, the bright one, one is the male one. one. Yeah. Oh my but goodness. But they are mostly so big. Oh they're, yeah, they're yeah, big yeah. Than the female. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That's the concept behind the fish. Yeah. Oh man, you see, today is all about education, education, yeah. education, yeah. and I'm loving it. You know, I want to see more of your content. Mm -hmm. So, what's your plan for your, co your channel? Because um, people are, might be wondering, this guy so s knows too much. Can I get his number? Where can I see what he does? So, where can people get you? Okay, uh, in YouTube channel, mm -hmm. it's underscore Gintu. It's underscore Gintu. Gintu. G I N T U. Gintu. It's underscore. Gintu. You have a unique name, Gintu. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, WhatsApp number, uh -huh. it's a plus two five four seven uh -huh. zero zero uh -huh. four nine uh -huh. zero zero uh -huh. four seven. Uh -huh. Repeat again slowly. Uh, WhatsApp number, uh -huh. it's a uh, uh, plus two five four uh -huh. seven uh -huh. zero zero uh -huh. four nine uh -huh. zero zero uh -huh. four seven. Awesome. So guys. If you know and, oh you have asked something yeah uh, what's the now the now I'm in YouTube yeah what's the next step yeah what's the next step uh, I'm a vlogger mm -hmm. in terms of fish farming mm -hmm. I'm covering all section of fish farming mm -hmm. from uh, the construction of ponds mm -hmm. we talk about uh, the uh, soil and uh, water pHs mm -hmm. Uh, maintenance practices at the pond, uh -huh. marketing and selling, uh -huh. maintenance practices, uh -huh. tools and equipment used. Uh -huh. We talk about uh, the reproduction si site, uh -huh. the, the measurement of the pond. Uh -huh. We talk about stocking capacity, uh -huh. feeding protocols, uh -huh. brands of fish or species we can just rear, uh -huh. types of fish we can just rear. Uh -huh. We talk about uh, 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 the golden or the colorful fish. Uh -huh. We talk about the types of fish. We talk uh -huh. about uh, the earthen fish pond, uh, the cages. Uh -huh. We talk about uh, 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 the constructed ponds. Uh -huh. Uh, we talk about the aquariums, uh -huh. uh, uh, we can just talk about the tank uh, uh -huh. uh, water ponds. Uh -huh. uh, so everything about that, we can just contact me, uh -huh. we can just share our thoughts, uh -huh. then we can now see whatever you want. Any kind of fish uh -huh. you want, whenever it's now for the reproduction and to the pond or wherever, uh -huh. we can just search for you and we can just get even turtles. Uh, oh, yeah. We do get them, even uh, tortoises, uh -huh. we do get them, but uh, not only snakes. Uh -huh. I've never gone into that step of snakes. I don't have that courage too. But <laughs> frogs, they yeah, are there. Actually, you can hear them. Huh? Oh, you you also keep frog. I have some frogs here. In China, uh. I ate a frog, but I was to test, uh -huh. and then a guy was to take me to a restaurant, frog restaurant. But I, I tested. It was in a wedding. Uh -huh. uh, that video is premiering. Maybe you should go watch my video in, in, around January. There, uh -huh. it's premiering. How I ate a donkey, mm -hmm. and now uh, I tasted a frog in a wedding. You see, like here at the wedding, you normally have the buffet. You yeah, have yeah, buffet. beef. Uh -huh. So then they have the frogs. Yeah, frogs. It is so sweet, yeah, very so sweet. sweet. So you keep frogs here. I have some frogs, but I don't have uh, some uh, customers who just re uh, uh, I just remove them. I throw them to the river. Oh my goodness! Now shooting uh, them, not even throwing them. You shoot them in the river. <laughs> You know, in China, in the market, yeah. you'll watch my my videos. Yeah. You'll see. Uh, in the market, like when you go to the market, you see people with fish. Yeah. Now they have people with frogs. Frogs. <laughs> they have a basket and place the frogs. Very, very big bullfrogs. Yeah. I yeah. know them. They are even here. Yeah. yeah. Very big ones. They look like this. Yeah. Yeah. They they, you, like should this. Try, <laughs> you should try. You should try cook them. it. 
uh, and vlog about okay, it. Okay, okay, I'll come to that. Yeah. Uh, the extent of me just doing this with me, mm -hmm. I'm just going to vlog. Mm -hmm. Wherever, whoever ha I am, whoever is just a customer, my audience uh, mm -hmm. who want maybe to just go to his place and just analyze the mm -hmm. fish farming mm -hmm. he just doing, mm -hmm. or to just uh, place some orders, mm -hmm. I'm just relevant for that. Mm -hmm. And even now, I'm just uh, going to an extent class mm -hmm. whereby now I want to construct Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a uh, Airbnbs mm -hmm. specifically. That's where now uh, there you. Oh, for Airbnb. Airbnbs. Okay. That place. Because uh, whenever this uh, uh, part was just here, mm -hmm. so many people came mm -hmm. from uh, outside Nyabuwanse, mm -hmm. but they never had a place to just uh, yeah. uh, sleep or mm -hmm. just get leisure. Mm -hmm. So they were just going to book some rooms far yeah. away to yeah. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. It's just a uh, uh, border. Mm -hmm. So that's where they went to. Mm -hmm. But around here, uh, we never had some houses. They were now covered. Mm -hmm. So I want to get here some airbnb airbnb for the people who are now coming specifically mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. or to ayamarwa okay. for the leisure time yeah because uh, this party will now be, be early. early so you need to plan earlier very early yeah so i'll have airbnbs mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. i'll have uh, a fishing area mm -hmm. this is the fishing area okay they'll now be fishing from this fish pond here. will you introduce a boat so that they can have a boat ride no i'll not yeah. have a boat ride uh -huh. But uh, I'll have uh, people, just uh, I'll have a section, mm -hmm. I'll just put some stones. Okay, or, uh, a floating uh, restaurant. Floating resto uh, yeah, ah, that's a good just, idea. Just come and yeah, uh, yeah. get uh, into yeah. the fish pond yeah. uh, inside mm -hmm. and just uh, get some meals from her. Uh, yeah. That's just uh, stepping onto the water. Yeah, maybe extending from there, then the restaurant there, they can chill, they yeah, can uh, yeah, that's interact. that's the idea. Because and that will get a area. very good attention. Yeah. yeah, and a fishing area mm -hmm. where people can just come and fish mm -hmm. using some hooks, mm -hmm. base and uh, remove with some hooks. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have a bonfire. Bonfire uh, yeah, over there. Over there. Or, and you a gazebo just, somewhere. Yeah, a gazebo is just down there. Our gazebo will be and down it will there. And be now raised mm -hmm. a bit, so mm -hmm. you can now view this compound at Rupert and okay. River YouTube. So that's the plan I'm coming with, okay. and a parking, okay. uh, an entry. A yet. parking and entry. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe yeah. you should also create a, a, a watchtower. A watchtower. Because uh, I wanted, you know, most of the... A watchtower like that? And Ayamarwa gate? Um, the gate of uh, Ayamarwa? Yeah. It's a watching tower. Like yeah, the, yeah, watchtower. Yeah. So that when you are here, you can also see the villa Medellin. And of you can it. also see the village around. Uh, yeah. Like this. I watch that because I don't have a drone. You can just watch via the aerial view. Yeah? Aerial view. Yeah. 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 So maybe I watch that so that I want to see and relax. Yeah. Yeah. You could appreciate Nyabuhanse. Of course, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the main aim. Yeah. Uh, by next year, June, mm -hmm. I'll have uh, done some steps. Yeah. So that's why I urge uh, some uh, uh, audience, mm -hmm. whoever have uh, the spirit of just uh, helping, yeah. whenever, even if it's just some thoughts, yeah. we can just share our thoughts mm -hmm. and we can just develop uh, mm -hmm. this uh, area. Yeah. Like Ayamaro, how he just developed it, mm -hmm. we can just develop it. Because Ayamaro has just promised me mm -hmm. just going to fence this area oh January. yeah well, that's impressive uh, Marwe. we are the first very... person to get the idea now oh my goodness yeah. and uh, this area now it's going to be transformed mm -hmm. even uh, uh, maybe some days coming mm -hmm. i'll talk about some days coming mm -hmm. i'll maybe expand it maybe upwards mm -hmm. or uh, sideways mm -hmm. i want uh, to just have a uh, uh, short courses mm -hmm. just teaching some students from okay. different schools mm -hmm. or whoever is just uh, going to rely on fish farming mm -hmm. i'll just be providing some short courses about fish farming here. oh my God. yeah maybe i'll expand it uh, uh, broadway mm -hmm. or uh, upwards yeah yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's why I'm talking about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhansi. Nyabuhansi. Yeah. And you, you are not even a treasure, you are a gem. You know, a gem, <laughs> you have to dig to find it. What's that? A uh, fish. Oh, it comes up to the top. Yeah, it comes up and goes back. Oh, yeah. So I was saying, you are a gem. You, you are that rare, rare, rare gem. And I know things will open up for you, yeah. and uh, you will go places. People will come here to benchmark. Of course, yes. and uh, next year it's going to be a small resort. A small resort, but resort. We, but very soon beautiful. You will expand. Uh, they, yeah, these people expand. you will send. You, you they will sell you land. Yeah, because you can uh -huh. imagine you are the only neighbor to Ayamarwa, Ayamarwa yeah. who is a YouTuber. Yeah. So from Ayamarwa, 
the next person will be you. Yeah. So you will attract a lot of attention, and this place, this place will open up, yeah. and you'll get more opportunities. Yeah, that's right? what I need now from yeah. uh, next year. Yeah. Uh, as I'm just going to reallocate some fish and get some money, mm -hmm. I just uh, uh, talk about doing something mm -hmm. relevant for the uh, preparation of uh, mm -hmm. that uh, area. So the point to take home mm -hmm. is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to use uh, uh, what is called uh, the furniture, mm -hmm. just uh, the timbers mm -hmm. uh, to do those furniture mm -hmm. and uh, all the construction. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it will now look like uh, the nature mm -hmm. of it just using the green yeah. energy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to construct the A-shaped mm -hmm. Oh, the air shaped uh, uh, Airbnb. I've seen it somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah, good concept. Maybe if I find time, yeah. I'll look for it and send you so you can get more idea yeah. and inspiration yeah, from of that. Course, yes, air yeah. shaped. Yeah, air shaped. And uh, these are called uh, the pathways, pathways. but uh, the, uh, the uh, aquaculture, mm -hmm. uh, we talk about uh, the dikes. The dikes. They're just the dikes uh -huh. where people just pass. Oh. Oh, they're just called pathways. Uh -huh. These ones are just going to be cabron. Cabron. Yeah. Oh, so that people can have a good yeah, place to walk. Yeah, and grasses inside. Yeah. Some yeah. cabrons and grass. Yeah. And uh, I'll have a bridge at these uh, fish. Oh, 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 oh. A bridge. That you have killed it, man. Yeah. So people are just going to just uh, pass uh, through water. Yeah. And can just step uh, at mm -hmm. the middle chest of uh, the bridge. Yeah. And they can now view or uh, feel that current yeah. over yeah. Uh, the fish pond because mm -hmm. it's the big one here. Uh, and it's the one which has the history of me now. Okay, okay. That's where now I came from me mm -hmm. to who I am. You see, now my ideas have started to open up. Yeah. I don't know if you can buy that land. The upper one? Yeah. So I have a bridge extended? Yes, up to that end. Yeah. So the first point here, but a private bridge. Uh -huh. And then, you see the tower I was telling you. Uh -huh. You raise one tower from this end uh -huh. and another tower from... Maybe you, you... Have you ever seen zip lining? That's what I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So somebody could do zip lining maybe from a certain point and they go down oh up to, that yeah be from one point they just hinge yeah over, uh, and then pass they, through they, via wires yeah, yeah they pass over the water because yeah. that will be the thrill even oh, I'm, I, the I feel the thrill yeah, right yeah, now yeah 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 no, i feel the thrill going to that far end, yeah coming back yeah yeah by the way yeah so yeah. a zip line and you know a zip line is very expensive yeah during the Amarua party, there were 2,000 people. Yeah. Maybe let's say here you could be charging, let's say, 1,000 for the zip line. Yeah. Imagine 1,000 people come for the zip line. How much do you have at the end of the day? Hey, you have uh, 1 M. 1 million. Yeah. And the people who come here, they, some have camped, some have eaten, yeah. some want to... I'll even have a camping zone. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, 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 the fortune telling. Yeah. Uh, how I'm just planning it to yeah. be. It's from uh, a local farmer mm -hmm. to uh, a restaurant mm -hmm. or uh, you can talk a resort yeah. area yeah. where now I'll just be improvising every kind of knowledge yeah. and skills uh, yeah. and leisure, mm -hmm. meditation, mm -hmm. everything will just be yeah. accommodated here because Ayamara mm -hmm. has uh, Airbnbs there. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's just there for sleeping. Mm -hmm. People are just going to maybe book summer. Uh, people are just going to be attracted uh, from Ayamaro. Uh -huh. They're just going to chip onto this area. Yeah. And I'll have mine, uh -huh. Airbnbs here for yeah. extra yeah. people. Yeah. But whoever is just going to just stay here for more than two weeks, uh -huh. he's just going to get an Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah. Oh my God. I hope you, God blesses you so that you expand this land. You have space up to up to there, yeah. up to up there, up to up there. So that all these ideas will be, will come into action. What do you think about my idea? Your idea is coming to a uh, truth uh -huh. because, uh, you know, uh, from one step mm -hmm. to another. Yeah. So from uh, the zero level mm -hmm. to the level. Yeah. Uh, every day, mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. uh, every day how the day comes, mm -hmm. everybody's thinking different, yeah. you know. Yeah. So whenever we just construct one, mm -hmm. we shall know now this is where the opportunity is. Yeah. We go for that one. And with that, it will be the only zip line in, in Maybe in South Nyanza. Yeah, Nyanza. Is there a zip line around I this don't place? Think. I don't think. It's not there. No, maybe there is one. Nyanza? Nyanza, a zip Nyanza? line. I don't, I have never. If I want a zip line, I'll go up to Limuru, Limuru. at the forest, the forest lodge. Of course, yes. That's the first zip line. Yeah. And it's very, very far away. Yeah. And but here mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. that's the hint you're now yeah. bringing. Maybe look into it and maybe on it. 
and yeah. you see if, how you can improve yeah, it. Yeah. 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 So guys, uh, whoever just viewing the channel, it's mm -hmm. just an entertainment mm -hmm. and uh, getting knowledge yeah, and expanding the yeah. thoughts. Mm -hmm. So as we can now do things that are just relevant mm -hmm. for the audience to view mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just come back to Kenya mm -hmm. and relax. Mm -hmm. Karibu Kenya. Okay. So guys, uh, uh, for people who can just support mm -hmm. maybe I've uh, just given me, uh, given out the hotline numbers, mm -hmm. uh, the WhatsApp number mm -hmm. and the channel. We can just chat and uh, we put our thoughts together. Mm -hmm. So as we become one team at Team Marwa mm -hmm. and we just move together yeah. as the team. So guys, support him, support him. Yeah. Le let's make him realize his dream. Let's him transform this place. And I hope next time I come, there'll be a zip line and whatever um, God will have blessed him by then. Yeah. And he's been so real, he's been so good. Even I don't know if uh, you have taken time like this with Amaru or uh, I'm, Amaru, the, no. I'm the first time. Yeah, you are the other first YouTubers. Time. Other YouTubers, not really. Yeah. Mama gift. Mama gift. Uh, a little bit like uh, twenty minutes. Okay. Twenty minutes. Yeah. But this is the first exclusive yeah. interview. Yeah. Only at uh, uh, Anoto, Anoto in, in China. China. Travel vlog, uh -huh. explore, uh -huh. education, uh -huh. entertain, uh -huh. inspire, and discover. Uh, so let me show them what I mean. So yeah. this is my tagline. Yeah. Anoto in China. Travel vlog. Uh, to explore, educate, entertain, inspire, and discover. Of course, yes. So today you have explored, you have been educated, you have yeah. been entertained, you have in, been inspired, and you have discovered. Of course, yes. So I have nothing more to say. Yeah. Let me exit this video. Guys, support him. And uh, let's realize our potential and push it, uh, each other towards great, greatness. Until next time. What is this? Mm. <laughs> so, until next time. Where are we? Oh, we are here. Yeah. Until. <laughs> let, let, let me do this this way. Yeah. So, guys, you see a better view of us. Yeah. Until next time. Until next time. See you. See you. Anoto in China. Anoto in China. And it's underscore. It's underscore Gintu. Gintu. Here in Nyabohanse village. The hidden treasures, treasures of, of Nyabohanse. Nyabohanse village. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, you can just go back there.